Everybody, welcome to the very interesting, fun live stream that is the average Thursday night in Top Flight. Oh, this is a non sharpened, just prop sword. We just thought it'd be fun to bring out for the day. Today, we are going to be building Miko. Miko. I thank you. I forgot the name. <laughs> Audio's good. Audio's good. Okay, perfect. I was actually hoping it would be. So, this is going to be Miko. <clears throat> it is. Actually, you have the specs. I don't know why I, I was do. starting to run them down. Yeah, it's like my job. That's all I do here. I know. So, Miko is a gaming computer aimed at 1080p, 144 hertz gaming, probably high to ultra details uh, based on the hardware we've selected for this. Uh, but more importantly, this is for gaming and streaming at the same time. So for those of you that don't know, streaming takes more processing power when you're also playing games. You need both more CPU and more GPU, especially if you're using NVIDIA's new NVENC encoder on their Turing cards, like we will be, we will be doing today with this 2060 Super. But we'll get there. Incredibly. So, to start off, an AMD Ryzen 7 3800X will be the powerhouse. That is 8 cores, 16 threads, and they'll boost well over 4 gigahertz under load. Congrats. Picture it, picture. I, I, I've got pictures. He's got it, okay. he's got it, he's got it. Okay. Oh, I can't even see it, so. Yeah, yeah. I got it. To cool that, we have a Be Quiet Dark Rock 4. Uh, that'll keep it nice and cool. It's a, it's a big tower cooler, lots of heat pipes, very aesthetic. This will be going in an ASO ROG. ASO? ASO. ASO. Asus ROG Strix B550F Gaming. This is our first time using a B550 board as they're really just becoming available. Uh, yeah. They've been out for like a few weeks or a month, but can't yeah, find them anywhere. Actually, yeah. Uh, and this is basically X570 for Ryzen 3, so it's natively supported Ryzen 3. Because when you use a B450, you probably have to update the BIOS. But anyway, and, and clarify, Ryzen 3rd gen. Yeah. So. Right, Ryzen 3, when they see oh, Ryzen, Ryzen 7, Ryzen. would just be kind when was of... was last time we used Ryzen 3? Uh, log. <laughs> anyway, so, to clarify, going in that board, we have two sticks of 16 gigabyte G-Skill Rift Jaws 5 DDR4 3200. Lots of RAM for programs Too much RAMs. things, yep. Keep, keep all the Chrome tabs open. We have two NVMe SSDs, both by HP, a 512 gigabyte and a 1 terabyte. Yes, two of those are not for this. <laughs> Moving Chris, on. we got two extra drives over here. <laughs> no. Bonus, <laughs> bonus drive. It was funny because I looked down and I was like, four? <laughs> I don't think that board has to be. Yeah, I was like, I didn't think it. Wow. Anyway. Asus just stepped up their game. <laughs> yeah. And as the main central piece, as all gaming computers have, Gigabyte 2060 Super, uh, 8 Gigabyte WinForce OC. So uh, that'll do well for our gaming and streaming at the same time. We can handle both of those tasks beautifully. To power all this, our EVJ Supernova 750 G3. It's a very reliable, clean power supply. We like it a lot here. That's going to be weird to say. I'm so used to saying the G2. Oh, yeah, it's G3 now. Eventually we'll get to G6. And we'll look at G6. Okay. All this there. will be going in a fractal design Meshify C white. It's actually off camera there, but it's a white variant of the case that we use a lot here. And we also have swapped out those stock fans for three Fantex 120 millimeter fans. They'll be nice and quiet and give us lots of airflow. So, without further ado, Connor's already gotten started without me, so I'm gonna open the power. Supply. Sorry, they just, just inside the package it says for single sided M.2 SSD, stick this pad on the existing M.2 pad. Okay. What? what? It's I'm, because if it's single. Oh, it's for the spacer of only, the chips, yeah. isn't it? That's if right. If there's only uh, flash chips on one side, then the heat spreader may not make good contact. You know what's really interesting? What? There's no driver CD. Did they do away with it? They finally. finally oh. Never mind. They uh, hit it inside of the user manual. You've got to wonder what percentage of those ever get opened. Chris didn't like even this. react. <laughs> I mean, we're at a point where I don't hardly anyone's putting an optical drive in a new computer. And some nice stickers. Those are actually really nice stickers. Asus does really good at their peripherals and their extras. They, they're definitely good, yeah, at that and just building their ROG brand. Yes. You know, very gamery. You get all these stickers, promote our brand, even though you bought our products. 
Also, if you are joining us from the future, and hopefully it is a lot better than what it is now, welcome. If you're joining us now, uh, this is the wonderful world that we live in now, where we are socially distanced. You could probably see Andrew well over there uh, on this camera, because we moved the, the camera around a little bit. Yeah. Andrew is sitting on that side of the table. I am on this side. Uh, we are about eight-ish feet apart. Uh, we have all of our own separate tools and separate things existing on our sides. Yep. Uh, the only thing really that we're going to be passing back and forth is the case, or, and when we do that, it'll be dropped in the center, moved on over, and things to that effect. Yep. One on one. We need to just record a sound bite for that. We really do. What's actually cool about this board is it's, it's, it's like very cyberpunk esque. It's got like the the. Japanese or Chinese writing characteristics oh, yeah. up there. I still like the board that they, was it, I think it was Asus where they had like a ninja fighting on the little OLED screen on it. Yeah. I am, I'm, I'm doing little peely doos Because they leave a weird sheen. And like the, the, even the logo is actually really cool on this one. Hopefully, you, oh, the auto book <sighs> is probably not going to like this. So you have the little logos there and here. But look at the logo there. Yeah. That's a cool... RGB. ROG, RGB. ROG, RGB. And a BIOS flashback button. And, and a Type-C. That's always good. And Wi-Fi 6. I would say Type-C is pretty standard now on new boards, but I like to see the BIOS flashback buttons. So Connor, what does a BIOS flashback button do for you? I just realized that Chris stole all my Be Quiet Screwdrivers. Um, <laughs> you want me to uh, grab you one from the box? 27. Yes! I didn't count them, but they're all over there. There's zero over here. Actually, no, 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 Andrew, hold on. Oh, Ugh. yeah. <laughs> this is not a bit. This was not set up. We don't have to reach into the reserves. <laughs> well, the funny part is, like, this was actually legitimately not uh, set up. Am I looking at an 8 pin CPU? 8 and 4. 8 and 4. Okay. So, and many, be quiet. Basically, all the tall ones. Basically, all the tall boys. They include a free screwdriver, and it is arguably my favorite tool because if the bit ever starts to wear out, like Chris said, we actually literally have a box. boxes full of these, and they're wonderfully magnetic. That's uh, one thing that Be Quiet does a lot better than Noctua, I will say. Yeah. With their 90 degree little, like, right angle. I don't have an issue with tool. It's not even magnetized. So? But Noctua has the brown and silver aesthetic. This is true. Unless you buy their Pro Max coolers. But. This is true. Do, do. <clears throat> so, do we? I don't think we have a fan hub, so I don't need a SATA power. Uh, let's see. Two, three. There's no fan hub in the case. So. Or, yep. No, nope, we're good. <laughs> right. uh, and your, to answer your early question, earlier question, yes. what a BIOS flashback does? Yes. Is it flashes BIOS? Oh yeah. Uh, no, from my understanding of it, it reverts the BIOS back to its previous stable condition. I believe is that there's, there's like two different ones out there used by different companies. I believe the Asus one, you plug a flash drive into a specially marked port on the rear I.O. Yep, there is one that is highlighted that says BIOS. It will look for a BIOS on that drive and flash it. Um, and I believe it can do it without a CPU <laughs> installed. That's pretty nifty. Which helps, especially with some of these Ryzen things, you know, the downside of forwards compatibility. Too laughing at. Why aren't I an admin? Oh. Actually, I, I also have a test. I need, to, I need to test something. I want to control the live stream. Uh, so, we added new things. Yay. Chris, can you switch over to the uh, Wait. wonderful subscribe uh, screen? It says this live video hasn't yeah. started for me. As a st this live video hasn't started. You'll be able to watch when the event host goes live. Don't go to the event. Go to the page. All right, let's see. Let's see. Does this work? I'm going to hit one, two, three. Better. I spent a lot of time on that. Oh. Uh, no thanks. What is there it? What is it under? Post? Uh, is the little alert bubble there? Hey, got a chance to subscribe. Does it actually work? It's, it, it said it. Hold on, I need to wait, see the. Wait like 10 seconds. I don't see the stream, Chris. Yeah, it's going to be a bit. Well, I can't see the Facebook stream. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, I'm I watching. It. 
I can watch on my phone. Hey! There we go. I figured it out. Yeah, you don't you don't go to the event. You go to like a different place. Yeah, you go to the. You can actually go directly to the page itself, and it'll be there too. Oh yeah. So okay. yeah, we finally figured out how to I'm link sorry. Twitch or Twitch. Well, I guess yes. Twitch and YouTube uh, subscribers and followers and likes and things to now pop up on the little doomhickey. Yep. It yep. made me very happy. It, that took me way too long to figure out and way too long to say too. <laughs> Okay. I hope I have enough phone battery. Yeah. Sixty percent we're good. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. It's not like I have an iPhone or anything. Oof. <laughs> it's gonna trigger like half this audience. Yeah. Okay, it's only an eight pin on the GPU. Only an eight. You only get one shot. So you know. I do have to move to sound though. One opportunity. That's copyright. <laughs> that is copyright. How do you move the sound on Facebook? Just turn your phone down. Okay, that's less than ideal, but we'll, we'll roll with it. <laughs> less than ideal. Can I, can I oh, I'm gonna like it. I liked it. I actually don't think I, I put likes on Facebook. Oh, we're not on Facebook yet, are we? No. I lied. Low on monitors. No, you're not. You have three. He has three monitors over there. He's like, guys, I need a fourth monitor. Actually, he has four. What is he doesn't know how to split, yes. he doesn't know how to snap windows. Oof. Oof. Oh, by the way, Chris, uh, I have my old phone, which we need to work on this. Uh, there's an app that you can get so that you can link that to be a separate webcam. Oh, and now we I can actually have a Chris cam. Talking to Amanda about this earlier. Oh, it might be better than the webcam you have. That's true. I mean, it is a Pixel your old phone 2. was a Pixel XL. Yeah. Okay. The uh, issue is input lag is the only yeah. thing that I'm worried about on that. Yeah, there's probably inherent latency with Android. But like, we is. will test and find out eventually. Was there a case hard? Oh, oh we never explained what this build actually is for. Yes, I did. Did you? Yes, I said 1080p gaming at 144 hertz and streaming at the same time. Yeah. Connor has no faith. I do not. The you know the sword of confusion really hit me hard. <laughs> It's like, all right, we got the 2080 Ti, we got the 3950X. What are you gonna play, Minecraft? Hey, <laughs> ray traced Minecraft, pretty I, hard to run. <laughs> honestly, the past few weeks, when I'm just like, I don't want to play anything too intensive, I will literally just open flash games that I played when I was young and just <laughs> just go at it, you know. Is that like your uh, your XL battleship? No, no, that was that was at work, uh, my old job. That was just. We were bored, and you couldn't play games on those work computers, so for the, I'll just tell the story. I always say it for those who don't know. I guess I've been there. Um, my co-worker <laughs> and I, so one time, we were really bored at work. It was a slow day. So we started emailing this Excel file back and forth, and we were playing Battleship by emailing back and forth and using the cells like quadrants in the game. It was very interesting. There's a little bit of trust factor, not to peek at the other sheets, but you know. Good times. Yeah. Oh, that is a backwards. This heat sink is not. Uh... The heat spreader. You happy? I'm, I'm like that one guy that's always on Reddit in the comments. Actually. Actually. It's technically a heat spreader. Never. I'm like hiding behind the case, you know. I'm, about, I'm just screwing this bracket into the power plug, so I'm just slot that in. Also, we have an excessive amount of builds coming up. Actually, excessive is not the word. A plethora of builds coming up. Yeah. So you guys will be seeing a lot of us. There can never be too many. We've been busy, yeah. We've been very, very busy. So we have, I, I think the poor Amazon guy and the poor UPS and FedEx have literally just created their own separate route for Chris's house at this point. Yeah, they, they have them on a on all like a blacklist so when the other dress pops up they're, they, they're like do something mean like you know like kick his door or something <laughs> kick screw this guy still deliver it perfectly fine just just kick the door yeah oh uh, maybe they'll give him a little toss yeah give them a nice 20 ti little toss down the stairs just kidding that's why we stress test all our computers please no interesting Yes. No, I'm just looking at this board and it says M.2, dash 2, socket 3, and then it says M.2. Oh no, that's heatsink. But 
Why do you have the word heatsink M.2 socket 2 on your motherboard? Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's a reason. I'm sure there's an Asus reason. Those are the best reasons. Yep. Yes, it is. And before comments, which I don't think we'll actually get them, but Asus or Asus. So Asus. Asus. I'm, now, I'm now following the chat in Twitch as well. But we're not on Twitch. Twitch C is. So I'm, 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 I'm C is restreaming. Oh, to gosh. Twitch. Oh, she is? Yeah. Okay. That's a, so we might actually have viewers for one? So. Uh, <laughs> so. So. so I Feels bad. Well. So I see my OBS stream. Yep. With, with, with within picture in picture and the picture in picture. Yeah. Picture shit. It's pretty trippy. That, is, that would actually be very trippy. I kind of look at the stream now. We need a link. Yeah. Chris, make it happen. I, um. <laughs> um. I love the um. Yeah. Just the, the slow hesitation of. I will, I will share it to I will. That was. A message on Facebook. That was Connor all day at work today. Um. Uh. <laughs> uh, traumatic jokes. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't do not know, Andrew and I actually work together at our day jobs. In our day jobs, which ironically, this is not it. Yep. It's turning into it though. Chris. Chris hopes. Chris hopes. This is true. We're actually going on a type flight cruise next year. Chris and Payne. <laughs> That's I was supposed to be at Disney three weeks from today. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we had our, our tickets. We were there for five days. We we're going to be there for five days. Had our plane tickets and everything. Uh, and that's now all been canceled and refunded. Um, the very very world. sad times that we were in. I know. But hey, we're staying safe. Yes. That's the big that's thing. That's the important part. Slow spread, you know, all that. I'm taking out the right piece of each other this time. We're just uh, refusing to say the name because. Uh, Demonetized, even though we're not monetized. Yeah. But we're still gonna get demonetized. Can you get blacklisted from ever being monetized? Probably. But I, if it's anyone, YouTube, it would not surprise. If me. anyone can, we can. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should see it. It was, uh, it was really funny. This would be a moment where I wish I hadn't queued up. But flashbacks of Will would always try to just tick Chris off. Yeah. In the sense oh. of he would like sing copyrighted things every single stream. Oh. I mean, I do, but I sing so badly that no one will ever know. Check the rail. Walk a mile. Oh, gosh. Because just, just holding chunks of ram. Sticks of ram. I don't know chunks why I said chunks. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm used to, like, we're on Minecraft, so Minecraft uh, chunks, chunks, like. You've been watching too much Minecraft. <laughs> this is my, chunks. My chunks of ram bring on the boys, they, uh. Actually. Oh, it doesn't work as well as I was hoping it was. No, that didn't work out very well. What'd you say, Chris? Oh, by the way, I'm Connor. I'm because Andrew. we're terrible at... I need to do an overlay for this. Yeah. I literally yeah. just need to do, like, a new style overlay of... No more beast overlay. <laughs> hey, that one was pretty good. We got compliments on it. Even though the audio level was rough. This is chunks of RAM. Okay, yeah. he just picks up now multiple... See, <laughs> this is where we need Chris Cam. We don't have Chris Cam. Yep. It's gotta happen. Shame. I was literally about to just put it on selfie camera and then like hold it up to the camera and face it towards you. Are you ready for board, uh, case? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm yes. just, I was just roughly running wires where they will be going. Dropped you just dropped away? Oh, I dropped one. I'll have one RAM, please. I'll have a singular ROM. ROM is different. ROM is read only memory. I know it's different. Okay. Here you go. So I just place the case in the middle so Connor can go retrieve it without getting sick. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly, there will be Baconators. Well, yes. Allegedly. Uh, inside jokes. Do you have the screws? Yes, I do. Those, those will be exceptionally helpful. Now, I know which one it is now. Those are the motherboard screws. Well, I mean, Actually, I guess this you is don't the... need to put it in the center when you just chuck it. It does work. Oh, yeah. I don't want to chuck the case. <laughs> You sure? Yeah. Handsy. <laughs> that would be bad. We do not recommend. Any injuries that are sustained from trucking cases are not responsible of Top Flight. Oh. Chris, I was like, this guy's talking about all his Light Loop fans. I was like, wait, that's Top Flight PC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, uh, RGB. So you're basically over doubling the amount of cabling. 
Yes, and more than doubling, actually. If you fill something with light loop fans or any fan like that with that much fan cable, EV power, RGB, and then water control, control it, and then you now need you controllers have controllers for the RGB. Yeah, oh yeah, that's what my you, case uh, is right now. And it's very quickly, oh. it turned into a rat's nest. We have a new follower. We have a hey. new follower. S subscriber, sorry. Oh. If only this was Twitch. <sighs> Can you give me the motherboard standoffs? There's no mother. There's not installed. No. Chris. Uh, wait, none of them are pre-installed? None of them. I know, that's why I was like, that's, wow. that's still kind of surprising. Most cases now just pre-installed the motherboard stand I know. And I already put the, the power cables in. And this is a full ATX board, right? Oh. 338. Hey! It's working. Oh, I... well, one of them was you. <laughs> well, well, he unsubscribed to this. Yeah, I had to unsubscribe to subscribe, even Chris, so. Yeah. yeah. How did that work? Just... One got screwed into the other one. So someone at the factory was bored. Someone, yeah. These are the motherboard standoffs. So if you guys can maybe see, uh, there's a little nubbin here, which is uh, a reference standoff. Basically, it doesn't yeah, actually just, put a screw in it. Yeah, but that's just the center to of the help motherboard. you get it aligned. Really. Yeah, help you get it aligned. And then it comes with this nifty little tool that just is a Phillips on one side and it's a hex on the other. And these are just threaded inserts. I don't know why they don't include them or why they're not pre-installed. Most cases now do because it's pretty much everyone's using the same boards. Yep. And if you just install them for a full-size ATX, even if you put a smaller board in there, still you still have all the ones you need. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I guess it ups the cost of manufacturing. I, I, I guess. Maybe. Yeah. I don't see why it would. But that'd, be, that'd be a cool thing. I mean, I'm all. sure it's like maybe a cent per case, you know? Mm, I don't know. I mean, labor is complicated. But it's like, you know, what'd you do this summer? I spent all summer screwing standoffs into <laughs> fractal cases. That would that'd be terrible. That'd be a heck of a summer job, dude. That would be. It's like, yep, so these are what the motherboard screws actually screw into. Uh, you need standoffs because zippity zappity electricity metal on contacts make magical blue smoke as Andrew says. Are, are you gonna shame me for my standoff story? Wait, you have another, wait. No, it's the same standoff story. My first computer I ever built, I didn't install oh, yeah. standoffs because I didn't know they were a thing. And I uh, killed an Intel motherboard. Rip. Back when Intel motherboard. <laughs> <laughs> that dates that. It's dating me, yeah. That was socket 1151, I think? Yeah. No, There's no, that was, that's recent. 1156. I was about to say, I was like, wait. 1156, because it was not 1155. That was my 4790K. No, that was right. 155. I dropped one of my standoffs. I need to follow AMD's lead. AM34, AM33, AM3, AM4. <laughs> Andrew, monologue, I need to find a screw. What'd you, which one? Um, uh, a standoff? A standoff, it fell down. I can and... probably find you another oh, one. No, it's back. sitting underneath here. Duh. Okay. We have screws everywhere. For some the reason, the magnet actually doesn't magnetize to the thing, so this brass is not is non ferrous metal. Brass is not magnetic. You should know this. Mm, yes, brass is not magnetic. <sighs> brass is inferior metal. Uh, it's good for some things. I don't know why sandals are brass. But uh, cheap. I guess. We all can machine other... brass a lot easier than. Uh, Maybe. Like but why are all the other screws not brass? And... What? Why are all the other screws not brass? I don't know. I guess strength matters more. I don't know. Well, nope. this is more of a standoff, so it involves a much more level of machining. <laughs> Different level of machining. Because yeah. you have to get the inside, you have to get the outside pitch, the inside pitch, and the outside as a hex. That's true. That has to be with, all within tolerance. I'm sure that's really good. We'll talk to some of our industry contracts that we, contacts that we don't have and ask them. Newbie. <laughs> Newbie. I Newbie mean, I was thinking more like cat or someone, but you know. Yeah. I guess it's a lot cooler, but. I'm just saying, like, newbie literally wrote the book nope, on yeah. tolerance. Well, yeah, he's uh, <laughs> newbie is one of our professors. He is a phenomenally smart individual. If you have a fastener question, oh. he's got the answers. Yeah, those uh, what are they called? Gauge? No, they're not gauge. Are go. they gauge blocks? No, not go. No go. Um, they're the ones you use to like calibrate machinery, like the gauge blocks that are super precise measurements. Oh, okay. I think they are gauge blocks, but. Anyway. Or just monologuing. I kind of just want to like email him that question. Be like, <laughs> why so, is this made of brass? And I'm just gonna get like an entire book back. Hey, I mean, I, yeah. Hey, good. But anyway, 
So I am tossing in the motherboard now, as we've been discussing. What is also interesting, and I don't think you guys can see it, unfortunately I can't really pick it up and show you, but around the contacts of the um, screw, this is why you do actually need to screw in all of your screws, yep. is a little bit of solder, and that is for grounding purposes. Yep. That is where the motherboard is actually grounded to the standoffs, then the standoffs to the case, and then the case to the ground. Now, I will be the devil's advocate and say, as long as you have one of those connected, yes. technically it's grounded. Technically, yes. We do not recommend holding your board in with one screw like I do at home sometimes. Do I need to show you that photo again? No. Just the glowing red. Because if you do that, I'm going to show you the photo of my SSDs. No one wants that. Yeah, that's fair. All right, so the... Do as I say, not as I do. Power is installed. Just awesome. And Are now I'm gonna... just going to route some tables. So you're gonna do you're gonna do cooler before I do graphics card, right? Yeah. Okay. Just checking because I'm just gonna sit here and fan of light the graphics card. Just fan of light the graphics. I mean, I don't have anything else to do. Uh, that's fair. Our twenty sixty super eight gigabyte OC. I feel like VRAM has multiplied very quickly. My nine seventy had three point five gigs. Really? Well, they had four gigs. But oh yeah, I actually did that. I never got my lawsuits. I never got my either. <laughs> now I that I think that. about it. Yeah. So, if you guys are relatively new to the computer industry, you will not know about the computer. snafu that is GTX 970. The GTX 970. So the GTX 970 was originally marketed as a four gigabyte card. It was always marketed. As it was one. always marketed actually as a, yeah as a four gigabyte card. The yeah. issue was Nvidia or no yeah Nvidia basically reserved half a gig of memory for overhead. Right. You could you could access it. It was just very very slow. Oh, is that what it was? Yes, you yeah, could access it, was... it. It was much slower than the main memory. Um, and for those of you that may not be aware, uh, just like a computer has memory to hold things that is, hold things that it's using, uh, so do graphics cards. So they have VRAM, uh, usually like GDR5. I think now we're on GD, DDR6 or HVM2. Those yep. are the main kinds. Um, but it holds like textures, uh, information about what's in the scene. Uh, polygon information, all that. So the card needs to be able to store what is right now. Real time like ray tracing. And that's RT cores, get it right. True. But Although the RAM concept. stores information about ray tracing. But yeah, Nvidia mismarketed their stuff and there was a class, class action lawsuit. I think you're supposed to get like 10 bucks. It was 50. 50? It was, a f it was 50. I did not get $50. I would remember that. But, but for what it's worth, AMD CPU division also. Uh, mismarketed a component and had a class action lawsuit. So this was back during the bulldozer CPU days. This was the FX series. Um, and what they did was, I think it was the 8320 that was mainly affected. Um, they said, okay, this is an eight core CPU, except only half those cores have what's called a floating point unit um, processor. So I didn't actually know this. Yes. Continue. <laughs> like yeah. this is this is of slight interest. Yeah. yeah. So on a just on a general level, it means that those cores weren't as useful for everything as a true full cores would be. Uh, so floating point unit is used for certain calculations. It's not as important in gaming. But yeah, AMD uh, hmm. had, had problems with that. I said, yeah, it's an eight core, except it's when not. it's not. Yeah, it is, but it's not. Yep, eighty three twenty and yeah, it's like telecom. <laughs> yes, uh, but no. Well, yes, but actually no. Yes, but no. Uh, but yeah, there's a little, there's a little fun fact there. A little so nugget of information. I guess, I guess the point there was that you know, Nvidia is not the only one to get overzealous with their marketing, and uh, end up in a little bit of trouble. Indeed. I'm pretty sure every hardware company out there has had mismarketed things that they regret later. True. 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 You yeah. want to reintroduce this? Huh? You want to reintroduce? Oh, uh, yeah. So I was like not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is Miko. This is a custom PC designed for 1080p, 144 hertz gaming and streaming at the same time. Uh, so we're centered around a Ryzen 7 3800X, and uh, we'll skip all the other components. They're pretty standard, but got the 2060 Super. Those are your two uh, like processors, so they're yep, most the main. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, I should also mention, if you're not familiar with what does 144 hertz mean? I know what 1080p is, that's HD, but what's, what's 144 hertz? So most monitors, ever since LCD and LED kind of became a thing, and cathode ray tubes, the big, the big thick boys got replaced. Um, 
have been typically 60 hertz standard. So that's how many times a second that a new image appears on the screen. Um, so that's fine, 60 hertz is fine if you know if you like that. Uh, but some of us, like when we do a little better at games because we have more information on the screen. Yeah. Well, like first person shooters yeah. and fa it's, faster action games, I should yeah. say. So something like CSGO is like, you know, the the best example, I guess, of yeah. what well, like Civ, does. you don't need 144 hertz Civ. Now, the difference that you'll see is that it's smoother because you, you're is. getting more frames. You know, he's not moving from here to here, he's moving from here to here each time. Yep. So I, at home, I run a 144 hertz panel as my main gaming monitor that have a 4K60 on the side for you know Discord, streams, all that good stuff. And here's another fun fact that is completely not actually about computers. Okay. Uh, the same Hertz refresh rates ah. are applied to lights. So and we are actually using special LED lights that are designed to shoot. Uh, the light actually pulsates as a wave. Yep. And it pulsates. So normal, we actually have all of our incandescent lights off right now because when they're older, they get older, they will start flickering at below a 60 hertz rate, and you'll see that actually on a camera. And now Chris is like, I didn't know that. No, the incandescents, these, the big 2B oh, okay. boys. Two, yeah, 2 We are using special LEDs that are actually, I think, 240 hertz, I believe is what they're actually rated at. So, know. but that's why when you see slow motion video, you'll see the light flickering if it's inside. It's a fun fact. Nice. So, if you are a up-and-coming streamer out there, uh, make sure your light matches your camera pulse. Yep, get some new lights at the Elgato. We have a link down in the video. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. The Elgato um, But yeah, that I'm is gonna, actually a fun fact. I'm going to one-up you on that too, though. Yeah, Wall Powers that. also uses Hertz. Yes, it does. Uh, so, in... Sine wave. I think it's North America, not just US. Um, we use 50 Hertz AC power, um, 120 volts here. Uh, most other countries use 220 volt. I believe it's still 50 hertz. Uh, no, it's not. No? I 60. Okay, it says 60. So they have more FPS than us. Okay. <laughs> so if you play games in the EU, you're automatically a better gamer. There you go. Um, uh, confirmed. Yeah. Top flight confirmed. Chris, do we know what games are mainly going to be played on this? Overwatch. Overwatch? Ooh. Overwatch. That's that. Hence right, let's, the sword. Let's talk some Overwatch. Oh, that's why you had the Genji yeah, it, was a, it was a Genji sword, but it kind of flew everyone over, his head, every, over everyone's head. What? Valorant. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. No I haven't Warren. played that yet, but uh, Overwatch is uh Yeah, I never very, got into the beta. Very near and dear to my heart, except when I get angry because people don't do their job on Overwatch. And that's true. <clears throat> yeah. We yeah need it's, it. it's always everyone else's fault. So if I build up a pro tip game. right there, number one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you're playing DPS, you blame the tanks. If you're playing tank, you blame the healer. If you're playing healer, you blame the DPS. Yep. It's the circle of life, as, as we like to say. And people are going to get that reference and probably get a little salty, but it's, it's fun. It's a circle of life. There's my little snippers. Oh. I am just actually cable managing, then I'm going to install the cooler, and Andrew's going to install the graphics card, and then we're going to boot. Yep. Well, Hopefully. test boot. Hopefully. Yeah. Our last, not last stream, but the stream before, we had a little bit of a uh, rough little start. I had a dead on arrival component yep. that we had to replace off stream. Apparently, but, uh, apparently is it? Yeah. Isn't it's, it? It's, it's made by Riot. Yeah. Yes, you are correct. With the blame circle. <laughs> yes, With the what? The blame, blame circle. circle. Oh. Oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> and then YouTube are hearing that PAL is 50, NTSC is 60, so you were right on 60 hertz. Yep. That was actually, so the reason I know that, and this is going to be a really weird story, but... It's going to be um, a big flex. Oh, is your this, well, this is, this is a weird one. So, music on the NES... The okay. Nintendo Entertainment Center uh, system. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, if you get a European console, is faster. Oh, the PAL switch. No, nope. because it is designed switch. to run off the 60 hertz, and they are using the hertz as a timer mm. in the game. So the music notes are actually faster. Huh. That's uh. That is uh, that is actually interesting. And that's just a, one of those very weird facts. It was like I never actually thought of it that yeah, way. But that reminds me of uh. Oh, Back yeah. when the best CPU you could get was a 486, um, game physics relied basically entirely on CPU speed. Mm -hmm. So if you had like a newer system than this game was built around, and it was a faster back when this was you know 50 megahertz processors maybe versus four gigahertz now, but if you had too fast of a computer, it would either crash instantly, it would run way too fast, and you just couldn't do anything, or physics would break all that stuff. 
Yeah, that's the only reason why I know that Hertz in Europe are different. Uh, tell me about your travel adapters when you went to Italy. Oh, I blew up so many <laughs> oh, breakers. No. Why? Because you had stuff on 120? Because, uh, like, my phone charger was a different, uh, or no, it wasn't, uh, one of my roommates or friends that I kind of went with, he tried yeah. to plug in a, uh, a U.S. Um, uh, power power strip. strip, yeah, and the grounds are different. Mm, yeah, I wouldn't do that. Crosses the grounds. I would just get a European one. Yeah, that's what was learned. Oh boy, yeah, don't mess with power kits. Yeah, don't. Don't stick a fork in the electrical socket. <laughs> Allegedly. Have you ever been stopped <laughs> by one of those? I bad. have. It hurts. I mean, it like stings for a few minutes. Well, no. See, the the actual the worst <laughs> one to touch it hurts. Is, it hurts. Ha! Fifty hurts. <laughs> Fifty thing. Um, no, the worst is actually touching the ground. If you're touching something else, yes. Yeah. Like yeah. the touching ground, ground is like the is worst fine. cable to, or the worst cable and or like point to touch. Because it has all of the power running through well, it. Well yeah, if something's going through it, yeah. I'm just still vein of lighting the graphics card here. I'm kinda picking just... it up and messing with it, but I'm almost done. Yeah, Connor's cable managing like he likes to do. Well, you don't do it, so. <laughs> oh, that's, that's the Chris used thing. to do it, and then Chris faded out of the streams, and then Will tried. I mean, we I don't can, let him do it. I can try. We didn't let him do it. Anymore. I can try. You're not gonna like it, because my philosophy is less tie down and more stash in places. Oh no! See, I like, like hey, you're not using that drive bay. <laughs> All your cables are going there. Uh, yeah, we like to make these look nice, airflow and all that good stuff. Background we need we need background music, but do we do? Can we get some license? Can we buy licenses for music? We actually from can. Sony and what? You can buy license. Yeah, I, know. I said now. you can. Oh, I thought you said can't. I, I totally can. It's just a matter of money. Yeah, it's it's only like a hundred dollars a month. I think Sony will. No, you can it. actually get like really cheap plans. Just saying. Chris doesn't like to spend money. Yeah. Where's yeah. my baconator? Yeah. We don't actually rent this office space, we just come here after hours and set up. <laughs> <laughs> actually, there are Baconators tomorrow. Like, I legit. Where is Saturday. Saturday. Oh, God, today's Thursday. Yeah, today's Thursday, bud. It's Friday night live stream, you know? I know. Except also, join us tomorrow on the Friday night live stream. <laughs> and while on that segue. Yes, we are actually building another computer tomorrow Which as well. It's going to look very, very, very similar. Yeah, indeed. We should try to replicate the dialogue as closely as possible. Just, just so it's like, wait, is this the repeat stream? Yes. Yeah, oh man, deja vu. That's weird. And then, we're, and then we have four up to five pending builds. Yeah. Yeah. Three of which are the same. Same exact computer. Yep. Yeah. They were multi-order. Going the same place. Well, no, they're going three different places. They're going to three different places. Oh, are they? They work remote. No, or different three different facilities. Oh, okay, okay. I see. Well, or, anyway. The, or all the they're going to the same, yeah, they're going to the same company. Probably just organization. Nice. Dude, I, how do I get that job? Okay, you're hired. Here's your, we're going to ship your brand new custom built computer to you. Made by a top flight PC. With, with a, you know, like a nice graphics card and stuff, yeah. Hey Chris, can you uh we need a patent uh uh tfcstore.com. <laughs> hey, this is family friend. I'm going to I'm going to buy the domain. <laughs> just yeah, buy the domain. I'm gonna scalp just it. put knockoff Linus merch no, just no, themed just, as top no, flight. I'm just going to redirect it to his. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, yeah? I'm gonna get a referral code with them and then just redirect it. <laughs> just redirect. Hey, I can. And then I will bring my water bottle every week in my shirt. I bought a gamer's Nexus shirt this week. Oh. I'm just. I'm sorry, but shirt. look at that you cable gave me a management. Shirt? I, gave you. I leave it here. Spicy. Oh. Do you see that, Chris? Spicy. 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 All right. Let's throw it. The get it not spicy. Yep. Do that before I put it in guys. <laughs> yeah, it would help. Yeah, Steve released a new shirt on this store, so I was like, hey, it looks pretty good. And I got it. It's coming later. Nah, early next week, I think. Allegedly. Allegedly. I think he's, uh, I don't want to say too much, but I'm pretty sure their business is located relatively close to us. Who's? 
Gamers Nexus. Really? Yes. I did not know that, actually. Yeah. He went to my high school. <laughs> Steve. Steve. Really? Her? He went to my high school. I do not follow anything about oh. Gamers Nexus, so I, because... I, I'm not trying to be like a meme or anything. And the only reason I know this, we watched his videos, like the very first videos. This was 20, this must have been 2010 or 2011, because I was taking computer engineering in high school. And my teacher for that was in a few of those very earlier videos. <laughs> so like, you know, I've got a little, I've got a little, uh, yeah. I have connection. no connection, but yeah, I like to say I do. <laughs> so Steve, if you're out there, I'm willing to leave top light at a moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris doesn't think I'm funny. Yeah, Chris does not. No. They do a lot of, if you haven't checked out Gamers Nexus on YouTube, they do a lot of uh, very analytical testing and analysis of different components. Mainly, now they're doing a lot of coolers. They, they do, used to do a lot of cases. They don't do many cases. No, they still do a lot of cases. How's they do? And they're getting into power supply testing now. They have very specialized equipment mm -hmm. to test everything. So it's they do a great job at a very, ob very objective analysis. Really? Yeah, that's, that's what it was. Yes. He went to my high school, which is there. Yes. Which is there. There's no secret tunnel covers. All of these are actually just heat pipes. Makes me low-key sad. I thought, when you said secret tunnel covers, I thought you meant covers of the song Secret Tunnel. <laughs> secret <laughs> Tunnel! <laughs> yeah, secret so last tunnel. stream, uh, other Be Quiet coolers, these little parts actually unscrew, and that's how you, uh, you put the screwdriver down there to screw in the screw. But this one, sadly, does not have a secret tunnel cover. And then Andrew now just is going to make... Can we get that song for a background song? <laughs> uh, no. What? Hey, Crit, all right, just, just go ahead and make it. That's all you got to do. Just record it, and then we'll put it in. Then Chris can't do anything about just it. Just fair use, like, 15 seconds? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Just play the chorus on a loop. <laughs> fair use. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So I am tossing in the fan on the CPU cooler. And then... Andrew is going to install the wonderful fan. The, or the, the fan. The fan. The, well, the it's fan. got two fans on it. The two fans that happen to have a graphics chip yeah. attached to them. With that cooler. The, the graphics chip's not the important part. It's the fans. It's all about the fans. There's a joke in there somewhere about the, you know, do it for the fans or whatever. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a celebrity. Yeah. I'm not a celebrity. Yeah. Did you say yet? Yeah. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting we have some more. wonderful special projects in the works along with some of our wonderful audience that is watching now and hopefully in the future. Yep. If we get one new follower a week at this rate, sure. we will surpass big people soon. And we have many new projects coming. We can toss that in the center. All right. That we still can't talk about, but we can, but we can't. Yeah. Allegedly. We'll leave it at that. Oh. On that cliffhanger. <laughs> and on that bombshell. <laughs> on that bombshell. Oh, good reference. All right, now I'm throwing in the RTX 2060 Super. Super. Good game. What we need to do, we need to do like a, when we do another like streamer computer, we need to get Chris to play like Overwatch for the first time, and every time he dies, we lose a tool. I like we're like not allowed to use it. I thought you were going to say something about drinking. I was like, no, I'm not doing <laughs> no. that. You would, uh, we would, we would have an audience that would unfortunately be deceased at the end of it if uh, yeah. we did something along Thank those lines. Folks. Actually, no. Better yet, every time Chris gets a kill, oh. we then lose the screwdriver. I will donate ten dollars to Chris every time we're, he gets gonna, a kill. We're, we're, we're gonna have a lot of screwdrivers up because I am not very good. I know. That's why Wait. I said we just need to get all the be quiet screwdrivers. And the challenge is, could we build a computer with only twenty-seven screwdrivers? Wait, Chris, have you played Overwatch before? No. no, that's why I'm oh, saying it'd be great. So let's, let's dump them in like a diamond game, right? Yeah, exactly. Just... I have a diamond account. I'll let him use that. Yeah. We'll jump, we'll... What should we make him play? Let's make him play Reinhardt. Hanzo. No, Reinhardt. Just... I want to play Tank. <laughs> Every time he dies, we lose a screwdriver. And the challenge is, could we build a computer before we lose yeah, if you all play, the screwdrivers? If we played Hanzo, it would be over in two minutes. I know. It'd be great. Like single tapped. You guys are I'm telling you, that's what that that's that's the stream idea. Once Chris we get another Overwatch. stream built, I wanted to do it for this one, but I knew we couldn't set it up quick enough. I can't decide on how I'm routing this cable. So. And then we'll do a Chris cam and everything. Okay, you can tie that cable back later, but it's just gonna chill there for now. Do you want to power it up there? Yeah. Okay. We'll toss someone up. It's fine. All Ignore right. the falling box. 
Yeah. Actually, fine. that was hard drives or M.2s, dot twos. Excuse me, but they will be perfectly fine. Did you get all the peels? Yep. Um, there were none on the graphics card. <laughs> I don't know. All right, moment of truth. The moment yeah. we've all been waiting for. After he plugs in and flips the switch, and hopefully put in the front panel headers. I did put the front panel headers in. I don't know if they got put in correctly. Oh, so I only went to find out. We'll see. One, two. I heard a click. There's no other There's click. Fans. fans are spinning. There we go. Yep. Perfect. Yep. And we have boot. There's some little flashy do LEDs here that give us postcodes. Yep. Probably going to memory train because new motherboard because and Ryzen. Ryzen. <laughs> What memory training is, is the computer basically shuts off. Um, it takes a little code of what's going on, what memory it has, things to that it's, effect, and then Yeah, it's some motherboard trying to figure out and kind of negotiate with the RAM what speed and timings and voltage they're going to run at. So. Yep. Hence, memory oh, training. Real quick, we have a question in the chat from Alexander. What processor are you using? This is a Ryzen 7 3800X, 8 cores, 16 threads, at over 4 gigahertz boost, all cores. And especially with that cooler? Probably yep. higher. And if you want to find all the specs, you can hit us up at topflightpc.com, go to our 2020 builds, and find Miko. Mm -hmm. Or all the rest of our builds that we have done. Yes, and if you want to buy one yourself, there's a contact, contact us at yep. the bottom. Yep, yep, yep. Indeed. 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 How that contact form works is it goes, fill it out, goes directly to Chris, not that Chris. Other more different Chris. Other more different Chris. Star sales Chris, but Chris will Chris. also deal with it most likely anyway Probably. in the in the long term. Uh, so anyway, it goes to Chris, and then we have a one on one conversation with you guys, trying to figure out what you need, what the experience is. Uh, not too subtle, subtle flex, subtle flex. Oh, okay. uh, our Google <laughs> reviews is oh. 105 now, I think 106. He's checking. Chris is checking. I think it's 105. I'm surprised he doesn't know. Yeah, I, I checked it the other day. Yeah. And we wait. One of six, hundred and six five star reviews. Yep. Um, Facebook, I don't think you can leave reviews. You can. Oh, you, you can. can. You can even you can even do that for a while. Oh, how many do we have on Facebook? And while while you're on Facebook, you can also join the Top Flight crew to uh, talk with us or other computer enthusiasts, ask troubleshooting questions, get hardware advice, all that good stuff. Yep. Talk about if, games. If you want to do that, jump onto our page, which is Top Flight Computers, in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. There's a little tab that says Groups. You can. Click on that, and there is a top flight crew. You can join that. Yep. And once you join that, we have a buy sell group as well that you guys can join to sell. I, I would hardware. say computer hardware, but then Michael posts lamps. <laughs> is it a, is it <laughs> a computer lamp? Uh, it's just a lamp. So, general things we try to limit it towards technolo technology and technological things. That's very vague. It is vague. A pickaxe so, is technology. Hey, you can you can break it up however you want. Technically, the abacus was a computer. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> and this can simulate multiple abacuses. Abacai. At least three. At least three. Yep. And there you go, on that bombshell. We will see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow. Thanks for joining. Goodbye.